an old man um, in a glade in the middle of an ancient forest. Uh, his name was Whitting, and, and he lived with his three grandsons who he raised from the time that they were little. Their names were Bluster, Careful, and Quest. Well, lads, it's spring again. <coughs> so I'd like you to all go into the woods for me and collect some honey. Sure, Grandpa. I know a great place to get some, too. Gee, I hope it's not too far. It was a long way to the place where the bees lived. Now all three brothers knew every pathway in the woods, so they throve cheerfully through the forest. All the same, it was somewhat dark and eerie under the trees, for the sun was not yet up. Um, you guys are a little worried. I feel like we're being watched. And Bluster was right, too, because in the forest crept an evil creature named Rambo Gusto, the king of the forest goblins, who loved to spy on everything, especially Whitting and his grandsons, whom he hated. Why, hello there. <laughs> Meanwhile, the brothers began to feel more and more worried, so they began to ask one another about all the wonderful things that might be in the world. To keep up their courage a bit, they began to sing and to call upon Al Rosie to bring out the sun. Little old Al Rosie Bright, bring golden sun to give us light. Golden sun to give us light. Say, show yourself, Al Rosie Bright. Show yourself, Al Rosie Bright. Lula, Lula. Why do you call me if you're afraid of me, you silly fellows? You talk about the wide world, but you don't know what's in it. Come along with me, and I'll show you what's in store for you. Round and round and round went the brothers until everything was a daze. Firstly, all the wealth in all the world appeared before their eyes. And then, all the armies and the weapons of war appeared. And finally, all the universe appeared and floated by. There, my lads. Now you have seen all that there is to see in the world. Now listen carefully to what is in store for you and what you must do to be lucky. Ooh, this will be interesting. <laughs> you must always stay in the forest and never leave your grandfather until he leaves you. And do not go into the world for anything at all until you have repaid your grandfather for all his love to you. Goodbye now. Um, wow, how weird was that? I think we'd better go home and speak to Grandpa. Hmm, did you hear that? I think I may have a very nice way to harm old Whitting and to get rid of the three lads all at once. Ooh, I love being so evil. <laughs> Well, hello there, my little horrible helpers. I want you to do a nasty job for me. I want you to jump onto the brothers and hide in their clothes. When Whitting asks what they saw in the woods, confuse them so they lie and leave their grandfather to rot by himself in the woods. Now run along, my little wretched runts. Oh, great, great, great. great. Love it, man. Love it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. You are back early. What happened in the woods? Unfortunately, none of the brothers could remember what our Rosie had said. Um, well, well, Grandpa, uh, we saw Al Rosie, and, uh... Tell him I've seen great riches, and... Al Rosie said, I'll be the richest of all three brothers. Hmm, interesting. And what about you, Bluster? Um, well, um... Tell him I saw lots of weapons of war, and... Uh, Al Rosie said I would be the mightiest of the brothers. Hmm, interesting. 
And what about you, Quest? Tell him I saw all the universe, and Al Rosie said I'd be the wisest of the three brothers. <laughs> um, actually, I can't remember what I saw or heard. What? Ah! <clears throat> What are you doing here? Get back to Quest, or I'll feed you to the slugs! Yeah. Meanwhile, Careful and Bluster were busy at work, doing all that the goblins were telling them to do. But Quest stayed with his grandfather because he wanted to tell him the truth. Unfortunately, he just couldn't remember. I have to go into the hill country and meditate on what the truth is, Grandpa. I just can't stay here. What good will the truth be to me, my boy, when I may be dead before you remember it? I must go, Grandpa. I thought it out, and it seems like the right thing to do. Goodbye, my lad. Quest walked and walked over mountains, through dark, eerie forests and swamps, until he came to a waterfall where he decided to stay and think about what our Rosie had said. Oh no, not you again. Please leave me in peace so I can remember what Al Rosie told me I must do. I don't think so. Hit it, guys. You never remember. Let's go and create some more havoc down the waterfall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can't believe it. I came all this way to think about the truth. And now I'm being distracted by a bunch of noisy goblins. Right. I'm putting a stop to this. Oh, I'm out of here. Phew. Now for some peace and quiet. During all this, Bluster and Careful had become more and more obsessed, building up riches and stacking up weapons in their new house. You know what, Bluster? I'm getting really sick of Grandpa disapproving of our industrious ways. You've got weapons. How about we get rid of him tonight? Whoa. I've got a better idea. Let's lock him in his house and burn it down. He's too old to get out anyhow. Great! Let's do it now! <laughs> hmm, smoke. That's strange. I wonder what's going on. Oh no, this is my grandson's doing. With the way they've been acting lately, I knew sooner or later this was going to happen. And I'm too weak <laughs> to escape. I suppose all I can do is wait here to die. So sad. Very sad. Oh, oh, oh yes, hello again. Yes, well, meanwhile, Quest was unaware of all that his brothers were doing. <sighs> Why am I here? Ho, 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 Quest! Why are you so lonely? 
<laughs> Don't be so sad. I, I said it ain't so bad. <coughs> All right. Al Rosie, what are you doing here? Instead of sitting here depressed, you should have stayed with your grandfather all along. This is the truth you've been searching for. Now get yourself together and go back home. Goodbye now. Finally, the truth. I'm so happy. Ah! Ah! I can't swim! Ah! Oh! Rampo Gusto will love me so much! Woohoo! Quest is dead! De de dead? Oh no! That's really sad! Oh, oh really sad! Oh, wah! <laughs> hey! Did you hear that? I think we better go and leave these guys and help our fellow goblin! Yeah! He sounds like he's in trouble! I was getting sick of hanging out in this pocket anyway! Hey! What's going on? Where are we? Hey! Grandpa's house is on fire! Quick! We better save him! Thank you, lads. I am so glad you finally came to your senses. Now tell me, is there any news about what's happened to Quest? I need to see him <laughs> before I die. Little did they know that Quest had sadly drowned at the bottom of the waterfall. And his spirit was waiting patiently at the door of Al Rosie's Afterlife Hotel. Al Rosie, <laughs> please tell me where Quest is. I need to see him. That's why I'm here, dear Whitting. Your time has come to join me in the next life and be with Quest, who is already waiting for you. Goodbye, lads. Do all that is right. Well, as you can see, things turned out pretty well in a twisted sort of way. Quest and Whitting stay together in a nice two-bedroom penthouse. And Bluster and Careful eventually got married and had some, uh, <laughs> beautiful children. And they lived happily and prosperous lives. Um, okay, well, that brings me to the end of the story. So, I suppose it's time for me to go. See you another time. Goblin King's work is never done. <laughs>